Please fasten your seatbelt over the blanket. I'm not insecure with when my fans start watching my videos and they're like, she seems different. You know what I mean? I'd rather them just like know, like, oh, Gabby's been kind of sad lately. <laughs> yeah, and they can feel it. I always yeah. think that our audience, like, that's the cool thing, we're connected. If you put your personal relationship online, you're essentially opening yourselves up to a million plus however many unlicensed therapists who want to give you their opinion in the comments. So, I don't know, I just, uh, I, I think it's really smart. Not to completely close it off, it's fun. I mean, like, everyone likes to watch it, but <clears throat> just the day-to-day -day of fighting and, and whatnot. I can imagine the pressure, such a microscope. And so if you're out there and you're considering starting a channel, I would do what feels good to you now and be cautious knowing that if everybody was watching it, if everybody at school or at work or whatever saw it, would you go come into that situation and be like, this is fine, I'm cool with that, that's fine, I'm just working my art or I'm doing this thing, I'm trying to find my voice and just keeping that in mind I always think is, is good because it does take time. <laughs> Vlogging never stop. Because that's the healthy decision. Hi, welcome to the backstage. My name is Katie Morton. I'm a licensed therapist. My Kenyans are out there. My name is Dodie. I have a Um, I am a musician, I write music about things I go through in life, the things I've learned. Um, I struggle with uh, depersonalization or derealization where I'll talk more about it. Oh yeah, woo! The last of all! <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Nathan Zed. Uh, I was afraid no one would do that. Um, <laughs> and I talk about mental health as well and I try to do it in a way that kind of uses I just try not to make it like super sad, and I've been trying to kind of be more open about that stuff recently. Uh, when it's just got kind of got worse in the past like year, a couple of years. I'm a lot better right now than I was like six months ago, which is great. But uh, yeah, so, let me just have but uh, yeah, I'm excited to talk about this right now. I feel like when I'm really, really bad, I just want to tell everyone all the time because that's all I'm thinking about. Like you get yourself into a rut where that is your life, and you're like at the bottom of a pit. And so what can you make? What can you do to become alive? Because you physically can't pull yourself out of it. So you're like, what do I make? What do I do? So if, for a long time, I would just talk about it. And then it became a problem, so I just didn't. And now I'm like spending a lot of my time in that rut. And now I'm just kind of taking a step back because I'm like, I don't know what to post anymore. I don't know what to do when I, I'm not better yet. I feel like I start writing the video about um, like something that has to do with mental health, but it's like, Will people really want to watch this? That's what I get afraid of. Also, just let me say this real quick. Like, as a black American, it's really something that's not usually talked about in the community. Uh, a lot of parents really kind of don't, like, they don't think it exists. Uh, thankfully, my uh, father, he's had his own journey, so he, he understands, like, what I go through sometimes, or all the time. I'm also afraid of being, like, the black mental health dude. You know what I mean? Pretty much my friends were my therapists for, like, a a while. Um, I'm so thankful for all my friends. I've never got like an actual therapist. Um, I've, I've only heard good things. I told I have a confession. Oh? We accidentally saw that backstage. I have to be honest. Oh, she's not going to get a classic American snitch on Ricky. We, like, I went on the store with her, like, we, we literally did see that one, but she acted it good. I think we're going to have to take this one to the audience. Or another round. Another round. We'll give it to America. Hey, I'm going to...
Something that I love about Melbourne is the fact that they have a lot of Korean beauty supplies. So we're gonna pop into a store and see what they have because Charlotte and I have already used the baby feet, which are amazing. And now I wanna get some eye cream, face mask, and another round of baby feet. Let's see what they have. We're toned when we toned, de-wrinkled, firmed. So many choices. I want all of those things. So today we are showered, we are prepped and ready to go. We are gonna try to make two things happen today. Number one, we're gonna try to go visit the wildlife preserve because we haven't been able to see the kangaroos and koalas and uh, aren't there all sorts of different creatures here that we don't have in the States? I'm really excited and we've been trying to hunt them down. We did the Great Ocean Road the other day and I looked in all the eucalyptus trees and didn't see any koalas. So I'm hoping to see them today. And then after that, we're gonna scoot on out to the Yarra Valley and do some wine tasting. Hopefully get some cheese and crackers too. And we've just had a really good time. This is our last day in Melbourne, our last full day. We fly out tomorrow and I'm just excited to get the last little bits of Melbourne and all the Australia experience before we have to fly back to the States. Everybody's been so nice here and the food is delicious and honestly, I'm just not quite ready to go yet. And then the grey ones are red kangaroos. Oh, red kangaroos. So you may notice, I think the male was lying down yeah, here. So he's one. more the red colour. Oh. So that's where they get the, the oh, name yeah, because they get their, their chest red. red right? Yeah. Okay. So we made it to the Hillsville Sanctuary and we're here in the kangaroo area and they're doing a feeding. You can see right over my shoulder, but it's also starting to rain a little bit and they're hiding from the rain, which is kind of funny. But it's so cool and crazy to see animals that we've only seen on TV or via Instagram. It's really cool to see them in real life and see them jump and use their tail like another leg. So, so exciting. Oh, it's coming. Sean, turn around. I'm only excited about the platypuses, wombats, and the Tasmanian devils because all that's left is those and the reptiles, and the reptiles creep me out. The emus belong to a group of flightless birds with flat breast bones known as ratites, ratatites, which include rayas, kiwis, ostriches, and cassowaries. And they've their top pace is 50 kilometers per hour. The fast. It says thunder thighs. I think that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> 